Hi, and welcome to my quick tutorial on how to create a dynamic operator upon submission. So quick explanation, I'm going to be using two stages, one to collect the information and then one to display the logon details and I'll obviously allow them to log on. So let's get right into it. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is search for the create operator activity. And it should be the first one. Final. Alright, I'm going to save as into yours. Apply this to your work class. Register. Same rule set. Create and open. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is open your property set. See the parameters that you want to set. Um, organization name, division name, unit, and so on. So to get these, you go into records, go into organization, operator ID, then you go to um, guest login. I already created a guest login. Alternatively, you can find them inside your application definition. Go to documentation, and right at the bottom is where you, all your um, information is. So here we can now copy the TSP. So we already know the parameter name, and that is TSP. We already know the division, and that was given as DIV, literally. And the unit was literally just given as unit as well. The user ID is the uh, email uh, that we want to use, so we'll do that later. The access group they want them to access. Um, I'm going to give them the guest access group, so I'm going to just use this one. Copy that. Okay, and here's that. Primary username, password. We'll set the password as rules. So once you've done this, you need to go to the parameters and remove the ones you don't need. Since we've already set the organization name, we don't need to pass as a parameter. So remove that one. Division, unit. To be honest, I don't need password. I don't need the access group either. Um, username. User, you can use it as the first name, username, then user ID will be the email. Uh, error message, we don't need to pass any error messages, nor any messages, so delete those. And we'll just be using these. 